What's up, players? I'm Mike Doherty. This is the Doherty Report on Chip Tooth Gaming. So, today I'm just really going to talk to you about my experience at uh, PlayStation Experience. Um, I, got, I had the opportunity to go there. Uh, go to the keynote um, and play some games, which was really cool. The keynote started off on a great note. You know, we got to see Uncharted, we got to see Final Fantasy VII, and then it kind of fizzled out near the end, but at the end they uh, announced Nino Kuni uh, 2, which is a huge, huge win for the PlayStation community. Um, so the keynote, um, I'd probably give it like a 7 out of 10, but that's not what PlayStation Experience is about. PlayStation Experience is about the experience with your with the other people around you and I have to say the PlayStation community and the kind of funny community are really it was amazing I I am speechless with the kind of the people that were there and just the kind of uh, community we had and the, the conversations that were going on it really felt like we were all just best friends in one place aside from just the camaraderie we had there like I, Hands down though, I'm going to PSX next year. They could have no keynote, but as long as I could be with the kind of funny community and the PlayStation community, uh, it's worth it to me. And um, maybe next year I'll actually, like, I can go meet, you know, kind of funny people like Greg Miller and Colin Moriarty and ha have more time with them. I got to meet Greg Miller. I didn't really get to, like, talk with Greg Miller, but um, I'll be in his ear all year and, and then some. I, I can't wait to just can't wait to just actually get the opportunity with them, but moving on. At PlayStation Experience, I really got to determine on what games are really standing out from the pack, and a couple games that are standing out to me is um, Alienation uh, by Housemark. Housemark does brilliant work, they're the guys who did Resogun, uh, Super Stardust. So I can't really, I, I got hands on time with uh, Alienation, it was so much fun, I could see me and my roommates sitting around playing that game, just having a good time. Um, you gotta keep an eye out for uh, Alienation. Um, Shout of the Beast. Now this is one that was announced, I think, last PlayStation experience? And um, I got hands on time with that too, Shout of the Beast, so good. It, it reminded me of a God of War, a hack and slash kind of game. Um, it's fun. The mechanics are solid. I want to see what the story is about, though. I don't know anything about the story, but I know the gameplay is fun. So it's a good start. Um, I really did have fun with Shadow of the Beast. Um, another game uh, that comes to mind uh, with that really stood out from the pack is Ratchet and Clank. Now this game I had a blast with. It. I, I'm not a big Ratchet fan, and I did a blog um, post about this. Go check it out. PlayStation Conversation. Um, Dot wordpress.com um, check it out I did a blog on it um, it was so much fun it was I, I'm not really into the old Ratchet and Clank games I got to get hands on time with this one it was addictive the mechanics were solid as usual but there's just something different about it it was it was really it was like a Ratchet and Clank game but it was very very different and it was fun it was addictive collecting bolts blowing things up, there's a pixelator gun that turned in things to pixels and blew them up into a bunch of little, like, thousands and thousands of pixels, it was awesome. Um, I really had a blast with that game, and that is for sure going to be on my watch list now coming up in 2016. PlayStation Experience sold me on one last game, and that was Uncharted 4. Now, there's a lot of unknowns with this game, uh, Naughty Dog does amazing work, I love their work, um, I wasn't really worried about Naughty Dog, I was just worried about the game itself. Um, because there has been so many layoffs and there's so many walkouts like Amy Hennig and um, so I wasn't really sure with this project but after that keynote you know it comes on and you can make decisions on what like uh, conversational decisions in the story so that just changes the whole dynamic of Uncharted and where the stories can go and where it branches out and I just I'm sold on it now and I went to the um, Uncharted panel there and uh, you know I had the cast there and the way they just mesh together. I am really excited to see what uh, Neil and Bruce Straley from um, Naughty Dog have up their sleeves with this game. Um, it looks amazing and I'm sold on it. I got hands on time with uh, the multiplayer at PSX. I'm sold on it. I don't need to see any more from uh, Uncharted for Naughty Dog. Um, I'm good. 
I, I'm buying Uncharted 4, it's a first year thing, it looks amazing, it looks like it's going to be more than a 10 out of 10, it looks like, it looks like the best Naughty Dog game yet, and that's saying a lot coming from Uncharted 3, Uncharted 2, and The Last of Us. Another really cool thing at PlayStation Experience was the swag we got. Um, me and my roommate went, um, and they gave these like playing or these trading cards out at each booth, um, and it was exclusive to PlayStation Experience. Um, and each booth had one, so there's like a Fat Princess one, um, a Shadow of the Beast one, and a Ratchet and Clank one. Uh, they're really cool, really exclusive. Um, we also get these awesome lanyards and name tags uh, for PlayStation Experience. These lanyards are really cool. Um, play, you know, 20th anniversary uh, PlayStation. Uh, we got T-shirts. We got beanies. We got a ton of free stuff, and it was awesome because we paid for the tickets, so it really paid off in the end along with um, everything else that came with PlayStation Experience. So I am beyond speechless with the way PlayStation Experience was this year. Uh, the, like I said, the people, uh, the atmosphere, the games, I got to go play hands-on with a bunch of games. Um, it was really cool and I'm really glad I went and I can't wait to go again. And um, just for the community out there, PlayStation community, kind of funny community, you're all amazing people. Uh, I was on the BART ride and I, I ran into four four kind of funny people and we all just started talking and we, we were like best friends for like uh, the whole time until we got split up but that's another story um, but I mean we were all having a good time and um, I felt I really felt like I was around people I've known for years and that's really a testament to kind of funny in PlayStation um, just the kind of community they built but I cannot wait for next year next year I will be there maybe I'll do more in-depth coverage but um, there wasn't a lot of announcements and big like uh, bomb drops here, but like I said, just the experience. So if you didn't get to go, I get why you'd be disappointed. I would be disappointed if I didn't go to, and I that's the display, um, that's what they showed. But I was there, and I'll tell you, no matter what the announcement was, just being able to see Greg Miller live or see a bunch of thousands of best friends there, it was awesome. And I can't wait to see what PlayStation Experience next year has, and E3, where the big announcements will be. Um, so we'll just see what the future holds uh, for Chiptooth Gaming and their coverage, but I can say that I know the kind of funny community is amazing, and the PlayStation community is amazing, and I can't wait to go to more events, because, you know, it wasn't even about getting hands-on with the games, it was about being with a bunch of best friends like you. So um, thank you all for my experience, thank you kind of funny. Um, for the community you've created and having us be able to come together and be a bunch of best friends. So that was my experience at PlayStation Experience and um, it was awesome. I can't wait to go. Um, tell me what you think about PlayStation Experience down in the comments below. Like and subscribe Chiptooth Gaming. I'm Mike Doherty. This has been the Doherty Report for Chiptooth Gaming and I'll see you next time players.